Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. Thank you for joining us again on this channel. I do first want to say I apologize for not having an actual video video up today. Um, if you like follow us over on Twitter, you will know that I tweeted out about a few hours ago saying that we ran into some trouble and the video was going to be up late. And I kind of just want to explain what I mean by that. Um, pretty much last night, I don't think I tweeted, but I said I was going ghost hunting again, and, well, we got shit. It's not good shit. That's where all the trouble kind of starts coming into play. Um, pretty much, we went, and we got there, got in, had no problems, and once when we got there, there was these two red lights. We couldn't figure out what it was. One of them said they thought they saw a person behind it. We were shining flashlights, nothing. And then it looked like it was moving, like back and forth between, and then closer or farther, like a lot. But we don't fully know if it really was moving for the reason we were in pitch black looking right at these lights, nothing really around other than like if I stuck the thumb up of the follow up or I can try to sort of look to see if it really is moving and really have trouble trying to dictate if it was moving. I don't think that was the correct word. Um, pretty much we, we couldn't figure it out, so at first we wanted to like just leave. And then the curiosity got the both, best of us, so we were like, okay, fuck it. We're going to go check this out because now we're interested. So we went, checked, them, checked it out, and it ended up being a grave. And it was weird because literally we were just there a month ago, same area, everything, and this grave did not exist at all wasn't there and we got really confused so we pulled out the dozen odds we got try recording the shit we do have all the recordings and everything we're still fully going through it once when we do uh, I'll make a separate video but pretty much while we were there there was again it was like two lanterns that Christmas decoration lanterns that were the original red lights and then kind of we were trying to see if we can get anything and then out of the corner of my eye I see another red light here's kind of like, here's a grave in front of me, out of the corner of my eye, to my right, I see these red light, this red light. So I'm kind of getting curious on that, and I noticed something walk in front of it. Like, it wasn't an animal, because we didn't hear any noise, anything. And so I told my friend, and we went and went to check it out, and while we were going over there, he asked, he was like, are you wanting to go check out the um, thing that walked in front of the light? And understand, I never said anything to him. He never said anything until now, so this is the first time anyone said anything to each other about the red lights. I never told the group why I wanted to go check it out. I said, something's interesting with it, and I went with him. So, it's not just me who saw it. We got really confused. So, we get over there, and we kind of look around. While, we, while we're walking over there, we pass this new mound, like someone was just buried here. And we kind of make note of it, kind of get a little confused for the reason... It looked like really they just buried someone, but it had an old gravestone back in the 80s, I believe. So, old gravestone, new person buried, no one recently died. And the one that we were at earlier that I walked away from was buried in 2004. That was when they passed away. So, we get over there and we hear this, well, I hear this faint bell at first. And it's really eerie, and I did not like it at all. I mentioned it to him. He gives a second, and he's like, yeah, I can hear it. I understand, per se, this is right where we're standing. There's a hill that goes up, and then a road. And then over on the other side is another cemetery. But then if you go, here's the hill. If you go straight down that way, there's a river. And then to our left, if you go far over, there's a railroad. So um, we hear these bells. And it sounds like it's to our right, over the street, and in the other cemetery. And I know, like, I, for a fact, I know it sounded like it was from across the street for a reason. I could still hear cars going by, and the cars were louder than the bells. First bell rings, second one rings, it sounds like it's closer. Cars still driving by, third one, it's overpowering the cars. Like, you could hear this bell over the cars. It really sounded like it just went a quarter of a mile in a matter of a few seconds. So me and him are like, yeah, fuck this, we're getting back, we're getting back to the group, and we sprint, straight 
went from her worst thing back to the old life where Mara Khan and her clan were throwing out Japanese ones. And when we come back, both the rods are pointing in, one rod is pointing in our direction, one rod is pointing in the opposite direction. So pretty much it's if you stick your hands out for a wing spread, that's how the rods were facing. And they were pointing there. When we get back to the group, we tell them what just happened, and we feel just something bad. Something wanted us to leave, but at the same time, something wanted us to stay. And we didn't like that feeling at all. And so we're, like, talking, trying to figure something out, and then I don't remember what it was. Well, someone said they heard something, like people walking. Even when we first got in there, we were throwing out the dowsing rods, and we kept hearing, like, people walking, and someone was following us the whole time we were in there. Even our photos kind of showed it, though. Operations and I were still going through all the photos. We didn't get like many of them since we were in there for an hour before we left. Plus, I wasn't enough to do it. So, right before we leave, we're like, okay, we need to get out. Like, something just does not want us here. So, I quickly grabbed my phone, hit the record button. So, while we're running, we, I have a recording going, and my friend, my girlfriend's friend, ends up holding a camera. Somehow, she hits record. She doesn't even know she's recording. We're sprinting out. The whole time we're sprinting, it, you can hear, like, someone's running after us, behind us. And every so often, I look back, I don't see anyone. And we get to this crossroads where one goes left, one goes forward, the one that goes forward goes up, and then there's another one that goes to the right, that goes to another part of the cemetery. We quickly stop, because now we're trying to figure out where it was. I turn around, and I see this big black figure run across the street that we just ran down. And I'm just, like, pure instinct, pitch black. I'm just like this way, and I'm like, I don't know, it's just gut feeling, and we ran, and we actually got out, and we got home, got back, we're just chilling around the car, talking for a bit, and she went to her mom's house, we went back to our house, and we started listening to a recording, and that's when we noticed, hey, she hit record, we call her out, because it says her name in it, and something like she can't, so it sounded like they were trying to say not to leave, but pretty much the whole thing, just went went south from there. They stopped by saying, "This girl, her, my girlfriend's friend's boyfriend was acting weird, and that the whole way we had gone, something was wrong, and something, there was something else going on. So we tried exercising in here. Seemed fine. They went home. Then they called her to leave. Then they called us again. So we drove over there, and then we were over there, and they were trying to figure out what the hell was going on. And a lot of stuff just started moving a lot harder over there." Because we couldn't figure out. But yeah, that's pretty much what we did last night. And I'm sorry that we did not get everyone that's on the stream or on any of Group Nine's Fun Time Talking Dynamics. So guys, I will be back with another Grand Theft video tomorrow. I have today off. So have a great day, everybody. And again, I'm really sorry that I did not have an actual video. I had something planned originally, and then the whole thing happened last night. So don't worry. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And like always, stay well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.